is a uh, one over here, and then this lady, and then so uh, um, this increasing virtual uh, world and uh, uh, the technological advancement and uh, other uh, these things. How you see the future of, uh, I mean, writing and uh, illustrating uh, when there is a game designing and uh, uh, other things are coming up and kids really loves them. Okay, we're going to gaze into the future. Yeah. Well, I would like to do a nap. <laughs> so, I think that uh, it's interesting to, to use uh, these new things because I'm sure that... Uh, all the material that I used to do, by combining them with the capacity of multiplicate things that have, can have an app, can be very interesting. Okay, so you're open to the idea of yes. moving to yes, digital platforms. Yes, and I never, never stop doing books and impossible books by hand. This is a never end, and it's more and more precious. But it, I, I really love to to do thing, new things mm. because it's, it's like it's open, it's, mm. it's not a closed thing, it's another thing. Mm. Asha, how was your take on the future? Gaze into the crystal uh, mineral water bottle. <laughs> Tell us what you see. Okay, so there's going to be influences from all over and definitely the digital, there's so much content. Uh, and I'm a little old school, so my take on this is I'm, I'm going to keep with books and writing. And uh, I think children are going to have access to so much content which is not from the traditional. So what happens is that if it's halfway between a game and a book, what the kid thinks is this book is too distracting or this game is not interactive enough. They think of it as a game or a book and it's either a failed book or a failed game. So if they think of it as a game, it's not gamey enough. If they think of it as a book, it's not bookish enough. So almost every attempt at interactive iPad children's books have failed. Uh, so people have lost a lot of money on that, uh, including publishers I know well. Um, so those don't work. But, what, but there are certain things which do work very well and are making a lot of money for people. Um, in one sense, we need to stop thinking in terms of books as units of standard size and shape because with the ebook revolution uh, books don't have to be any size or shape they can be long short medium and the great greatest thing is at the end of your your ebook or kindle book there's a little button which says episode 2 press here so you click that of course and you pay money for a book 2 without feeling like you're paying money so then book three, book four, and book five, and so on. Also, the world is rather lawless in e-books. Uh, um, my wife bought me a science fiction book that she thought sounded like the sort of thing I read. And I read it, and it was quite good, but it was full of spelling mistakes. And I realized it's not a real sci-fi book from a publisher. It's just some 